Right, this is Sheila. It's the 3rd of August. It's a beautiful summer day. And I'm visiting... Uh, I'm on the ancestral trail where I'm visiting Clare. The village of Clare. Comes from the, the name de Clare. One of our great-grandfathers, Richard Fitzgilbert, built this castle. He was given the land by William the Conqueror for his services during the Battle of Hastings. An interesting thing I've learnt just recently is um, that Elizabeth de Burr, whose statue can be found in Borough Green, was also a Clare. And she must have become a de Burr after she married then. That's what's even more interesting. Cusp, cusped in the hands of Elizabeth de Burr's statue is a little sort of plaque thing which can hold flowers and on it is um, William Oak and an ancestor of William, a descendant of William is um, a Grace Starlin because we've got Starlins in our family and William Oak is also my ancestor so I'd like to know the connection there but Elizabeth de Burr who once was a de Clare is also connected to us so it gets more interesting. I'm climbing up now on top of the mound where the keep would have been, or the castle, top of the castle. I'm climbing to the top of the castle, everyone. I say it's a gorgeous day. I'm in this country park. I see the centre's open there. I'll go in there in a minute. Clare Park Centre. I can see a statue there. I got here early, but it's already quarter past nine. From 11 o'clock, you've got to start paying. <clears throat> but I just will stay parked where I am and do the town walk. I met a girl who was very good. She gave me directions here. And um, there is a town trail that I should be able to c complete some during the day. So anyway, this is a... What I've come to see, this is all that remains of the castle now. It fell into disrepair for several hundred years after the declares um, sort of disappeared, after all the male heirs went and all the women were married off. But this town is, belongs to me. This is my town. <laughs> oh dear. It does seem hard to believe, I know it does that we're connected to them, but I have done the work. I haven't made it up, I've done the research. And the more I find, the more it confirms everything. God, they must have been fit in those days to keep climbing up here, you know. They must have been very fit people, I think. Yeah, the girl said it'd be good to get up here early before there's lots of people. You get the place yourself for a minute. And this is all there is up of my Richard Fitzgilbert's castle. Oh, it's all that remains. A lot of the local homes are made of of the stones of the castle. People came in snatch the, the stones to build their homes with. Yeah. You'd think they have some sort of plaque up here, wouldn't you? You know, you've got to the top. I wonder if there's more than one way down. Let me just go around the back here, there might be a little bit more around here. Or is that another way down? Oh yeah. No, it's just a, a more views of the castle. So, so my kids and my great grandchildren and all that to come, my descendants. This is Sheila in the village of Clare in Suffolk. Tracing your, the ancestors. That church over there was built by the Saxons so they didn't have to pray alongside the Normans. 
It's on the site of the Saxon church, that is. So this was as well, probably, and there was probably Romans before. Well, this is what I've come to see. In the beautiful Suffolk countryside. This once was built by our ancestors. Well, he didn't do it himself, but he was a very powerful noble. A baron, one of the most influential barons in the whole country, if not the inf most influential. They had uh, properties everywhere, including Ireland as well, everywhere. They owned everything. They were very, very powerful. And we come from that stock. It's fascinating, isn't it? Oh, I found a coin, a lucky penny. Not to be spent. But a lucky penny I found up there. Gotta take a bit of souvenir, I suppose, from the wall. Only a bit that's lying on the floor. That's a lucky penny now. Right then, just turn it off for a minute. That's um, part one of Sheila's visit to Claire. I've also done, I'm doing it on cassette recorder as well. Because of um, running out of battery and everything. And this was the part of the castle then, the last big piece remaining. 